time it is. Marvin Devine, Hoover, Axel, and you know how we do. <laughs> yeah, I got the juice, yeah, I got the juice We game cool, make them look like cool Always play cool, that's the biggest rule Forget what they doing, keep on doing is called Paragrant. Paragrant is another one of the beautiful locations of the North Coast. This is before Maracas Beach again. Um, when we was walking down, remember we did Shodo Bay maybe a couple episodes before. So that island that is across there, that is Shodo Island. Challenging walk to come down. Hiba how much again? An hour? Yeah, yeah, about an hour. So this one is just about an hour to come down. And I, we, we took a nice stall, not because he was tired, but because the view was spectacular. And there were so many things that was happening on the trail coming down that we had to do. You know, a few of these things coming down, like drink a coconut water, take selfies, take pictures coming down. So these are the things that kind of absorbed the time because we was more basking in the beauty of the place. So that is a kind of slow down the hike. Other than now, you might have do it in about 45 minutes or 40 minutes, something like that. Once you get on the beach, you are going to be in awe with this location. You are going to be in awe because the beach is baitable. All right, I, I didn't go in. Is, was there any undercurrent out there? No. So, all right, so there wasn't any undercurrent. And then when you go down to the very end of the beach, you would see in the corner, tucked in the corner, you see this nice little basin. And you know, we, we like to go further than that. And we went up inside and we saw more than just that one beautiful blue basin. We saw other basins going up. All right. So definitely this is another one of the hikes and you know, another one of the treks that you guys should check out. And I challenge my boy Trini Weeks. Right? Uh, boom. Stop flying all that drone. Come, come with me. Come with me. Let me do some of these things. Alright? Definitely something that you as a Trinidadian and also if you are a visitor and the first time coming to Trinidad, well I know the borders closed right now. But when that time comes again and it's time to travel and do things outside of your comfort zone, this is definitely one of them that you all should check out. 